Hello, everyone. My name is Uyi Stewart. In my day job, I am the head of data science at CGen Incorporated, formerly called Seattle Genetics. We are a biotech company that is the leader in the research and development of antibody drug conjugates for the treatment of cancer. There is COVID, but millions are still ravaged daily by various kinds of cancer. And my team applies data science to accelerate the timeline so that these cancer drugs can be researched, developed, and manufactured much faster and safely for the patient. It is my privilege to serve as chairman of Data Science Nigeria and to partner with Bio, Toy, and the entire team of professionals in their unrelenting mission to leverage data science to transform Nigeria and the rest of Africa to impact the world. So how did we get here today? Where did the idea of ECO360 come from? It is part of the realization of a decades long body of work that I've been pursuing to enable artificial intelligence, that is AI, in emerging market. Emerging economies have the opportunity to leapfrog and catch up with rich nations due to the potential of using data as a competitive advantage. In this regard, the global dynamics of digital innovation are changing. No longer will innovation flow in one direction from developed nations to developing ones. They will flow in reverse. For example, from Nigeria to the rest of the world because of data and data science. Therefore, it becomes an imperative that you cannot build digital solutions for Lagosians from London or New York because what works in those places will not automatically achieve wider acceptance in Lagos or other emerging markets where customer needs are starkly different. This is the concept of Africanization of data science that we started about a decade ago with reverse innovation through the establishment of IBM Research Africa. And then a few years later, through a friendship with Bio, partnering with him to support the nascent dream of Data Science Nigeria, which has now become a great reality today. In the face of documented challenges with core infrastructures in healthcare, education, transportation, commerce, et cetera, et cetera. What if we create a data-driven platform to facilitate the organization, analysis, interpretation, of and mining of the data to give us a total picture. That is a 360 degree view that will help mitigate these infrastructural challenges. Well, today we are gathered to celebrate one of the many outcomes from this effort. The ECO 360 project, which I brokered in my last job for Nigeria in two locations, one in Lagos and one in Kaduna. The hope for this project remains the same, that we can use data to leapfrog the paucity of infrastructure in our environment. For example, to support local market women with seasonal information on pricing and storage of food items. Or in another example, to support a young student who is failing by looking at comprehensive data, including availability of electricity, access to meals, number of children in the family, employment status of the parents, where they live, relative distance to school, et cetera, et cetera. These are all data-driven factors that have been proven to support the personalization and understanding of why a child might be failing in school. And more importantly, to use the data for implementing remediation strategies, including AI-based decision support solutions in schools. The possibilities are endless. This is our hope when we broke out this project and is the cornerstone of the partnership with Bio and Data Science Nigeria, that ECO360 will be a platform for decision makers in Lagos State to govern and show Lagos State as a beacon of hope and optimism. So thank you Bio for the friendship and partnership. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to all in attendance. Thanks for listening. Let's use ECO 360 to make one decision at a time. And that decision should make a difference in people's lives. One that would ensure that tomorrow is better than today. So my best wishes for today's event. Thank you, everyone.
and bye-bye.